Hey, peeps. Hello. Ooh. We are doing a little bit more of an informal video this time. Yes. We asked, uh, and you obliged. You sent us some questions. We decided to do a quick Q and A. Well, I don't know how quick it'll be, but could be quick. Could be twelve years. That's excessive. Yeah. We'll see. So here we are. Cheers. Join us. Hey, Cheers. baby. And uh, welcome to well back. Welcome back to our couch. <sighs> yes. So while I'm enjoying my press, hard seltzer. I know people all live for this white cloth stuff. Press is where it's at. This is pomegranate ginger. It's so good. Anyway, I also have some pepperoni and cheese. Real fancy. We're classy folk. And Ari is here. And Ari is here. So if you hear click, 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 it's her toenails. All right. So we will start with the most frequently asked <laughs> question. Yes. Um, several of you asked this. And I was like, please give us other questions. <laughs> but clearly you all want to know. Um, how did we meet? Yeah. Okay, Cupid. Next question. Bingo. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the simple answer. The not so simple answer would be that I created an okay Cupid profile. Evan had had one for a long time. Yeah, like a five months or so, six months or so. Long time. Long enough to be annoying. <laughs> He claims he was about to delete it. I was. I had a week left I was giving myself. And in comes Megan. I... Slid into my DMs. If that was a thing <laughs> back then, I guess. Yes, I did. I happened to be watching a Patriots game. We both were. Yes. And um, But it was halftime at the time that I was doing all this, so don't you judge me for not watching the game, because I did. We talked about it after. Yes, we did. Um... I was doing a little research, found Evan, he had a picture with his little pup, Dusty, who, who you saw in the Froscato video. Went on link somewhere in these corners. Weep, 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 weep. I saw his picture and was like, ooh, this guy's cute. Still is. <laughs> um, and we were like a pretty high percentage match. Yeah. Um, and he mentioned in his profile that he was in law school, that he was in a band. Two bands at that time. Yeah, two bands. Um, and loved dogs and Boston sports. So Thank I was you. like, wow, this guy is perfect. He's never going to talk to me, but let's just go for it. I had a little liquid courage. And I, I messaged him and asked him about the Patriots. I believe the initial message was Boston sports fan, hey, something like that. Um, are you watching the Patriots game right now? Clearly he was because he didn't respond until after the game was done. Yes. Um, where then we talked about it and never stopped talking. It's true. That was a Sunday. Yeah. Because that's how football works most of the time. <laughs> a Thursday or a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Or I feel like there's like an occasional Saturday game, like during playoffs, which I'm like, Yeah, what? sometimes. It's weird. Um, confuses me. So that was Sunday. On Tuesday, I believe, he asked if I wanted to come see his show, his band's show on Friday night. And I said, yeah, we, but we should probably go out before. Or like, we, we were talking about going out, and you were like, well, I have a show Friday, so why don't we yeah. get together Thursday, and then if all goes well, you can come to the show on Friday. I was like, cool. But then also took a step further and said, hey, you know, maybe Wednesday we should FaceTime or Skype um, so that we know that the other person's not a serial killer. Like <laughs> Slash looks like they actually said they looked like yeah, in their profile. Exactly. Um, that's kind of like my tip to you if you are doing online dating. Always make sure you get like a video, a chat. video chat with the person so that way you can make sure. Like that is my biggest qualm with catfish it's like if they can't video chat there was only one time that it worked out and that guy refused to video chat because he was legit like living in the dark ages and like his parents like wouldn't let him have one or something yeah, something some, stupid it was the super emo kid right yeah, yeah yeah it was very odd and i think they ended up together after all that too i don't remember i know but they I got matching know. tattoos something <laughs> 
Yeah, but that anyway. seems right. So we Skyped, we FaceTimed, we were talking, and like... Hours went by. There's one pause in the conversation, and Mr. Evan here just blurts out with his little hoodie on. He's just in his little chair. I had a hoodie. Chair. I was cold in my basement. He's just hanging out in his little office chair. We're painting a beautiful picture yeah. here for you. It was very romantic. <laughs> um, and I was on the couch at my mom's house, and she passed by a few times. I remember was like, that. What's happening? Is that the guy? And yeah, mom. Yeah, that's no way. So anyway, pause, and then Evan says, I think I love you. I think I'm in love with you. Yeah, that one too. And I was like, huh. <laughs> I think I am too. <laughs> oh, wasn't that pausy? I know. But I was like, am I supposed to be saying this right now? Is this weird? And, oh! <laughs> Sorry, Aria just hit the camera. Let's adjust that real quick, dum-dum. I was going down for the C-O-N-T. Okay. C-O-U-N-T. Cont. I was going down for the cont. I thought that was going somewhere else for a second. No count. Sorry, I spelled it wrong. So, we loved each other. Before we ever even locked eyes for real. And I've been paying her $50 a week ever since. <laughs> I'm wealthy. Next day rolls around, Thursday. Thursday. And it's a rainy night in Providence. Mm. We were right near Brown University's campus on a place called Thayer Street. If you ever come to Providence, it is a decent area to go to. Yeah, um, it's There's like some a fun, good food. Yeah, it's like a kind of a stereotypical spot. Like it's right next to Brown University's campus, like Meg said. So you get all the kids going by. Well, if you're in the summer, it's actually the best time to go because there's no university kids there. So you have free pickings or whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Ah, Aria moved. I was trying to get a picture. She was just like, boop, with her head poking out. Anyway, so Thayer Street. Yep, Thayer Street's great. Good ramen, good pizza. Mm, they had good bars, but the said bars have been shut down because serving underage kids. Bean. So, um... Rainy, we're meeting up. We decided Starbucks was a good corner to meet on. We didn't actually go in the Starbucks. Scarves. That was just like our little meeting point. Yep. And um, we had the most awkward little like kiss because it was raining. And we were like, boop, okay, let's go eat or like drink. A... Bye, okay, let's go. <laughs> so then we went to the English cellar, reached across the table. And I told her I was going to marry her one day. So and, that's, that's, uh, yeah. I said, okay, yeah. You make it sound like I'm such a weirdo. <gasps> because it sounds weird, but, but it's not. Like, I always thought that that kind of crap only happened in movies. But you know what? We love movies, so it works out. <laughs> yeah. Good for us. Speaking of movies, one we of We saw the my most romantic yeah. Romantic movies of all time. That it was just... Mm, made my Brit heart beat as, fast. As the British would say, a bloody good time. Ha 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 We went to go see Gone Girl. Yeah. Which, <laughs> if you've seen it... It's crazy. It's nuts. So there you go. Story. And here we are. Five and a half years later. Yeah. Not Not quite half. Getting there. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. It was November yeah. 2014. Good times. So, Good times. And then so I proposed to me in Disney. I did on May 31st. And Meg got very confused by that. The first question in the hotel that night was, so, how does this work? To which I was like, how does what work? And she was like, is our anniversary still the same? I I didn't know how it happened. That's why I asked. I've never been engaged before, <laughs> people. <laughs> Come over here. There you go. You so like that's how we out. met. That's how we fell in love. I don't know. That's me making up a song. You're welcome. Beautiful. You're welcome. I guess you could say you're welcome. Ah. Uh, 
Uh, I think it's what can I say except you're welcome. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Next question. You don't matter. So I've been told. Oh, that's depressing. Yeah, no. Next question. So we, we took a lot of time with that one because a lot of people asked. So we told you the whole shebang. Bean, you are not getting no pep and food. crack. You for just you. had an oinky. oinky. Okay. Next. Um, where do both of your loves for Disney come from? I will. You let... want the crude answer first? The crude. <laughs> Bend over and I'll show you. Name that movie. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> so my love for Disney, like most people, spawned as a childhood. Nope. Spawned in my childhood. <laughs> oh, I'm still <laughs> I'll, I'll just take that whole thing again when you're done showing. No, that's hilarious. I'm keeping that. So as a kid, I was brought to all the Disney movies when they came out. Uh, my first movie ever was actually Jurassic Park. That's obviously not a Disney movie. But I remember... Uh, Your first movie ever? Yeah, my first movie in a movie theater was Jurassic Park. You were two. Yeah, and I fell asleep. That makes no sense. How does that not make any sense? It's not rated R. My dad was with me. What? How yeah. have I not heard this story? You did not know that my first movie ever in a movie theater was Jurassic Park? No, that's nuts! You were too! I fell asleep. Oh my god. I fell asleep during- John, what were you doing? I fell asleep during the T-Rex part, and I woke up during the Velociraptor scene at the end. But I remember shortly after that, my second movie in the theaters was The Lion King. Loved every second of it, watched it a thousand times as a kid. Who didn't? Right? You if had to. If you're a millennial. I was, um, I had the flu when I was a kid, and oh, in, sorry, bro. yeah, thanks, and in one of the rooms in our house, we had a bunk bed, and me and my dad sat, we talked about that in another video, yeah, well, I'm gonna say it again, uh, my dad and I built, like, a pillow fort and watched Aladdin three times that day, it was fun, and then the first time we went to the park, I got to go see the Pepto-Bismol castle, I started going to Disney as a very young child, riveting, the end, <laughs> Um, I, the first memory I have of Disney was, or Dadney, Dadney, <laughs> <laughs> um, was in kindergarten, so I was about five, and it was right after Animal Kingdom had opened, I think like a year after, a year, two, two years, because it was what, 90, Six ninety-seven. 97, I thought, I thought, oh no wait, actually it was 98, because we were there, summer of 98, we were there, so it was like that. It had been within the first year that it opened That's that we went. That's right. That makes sense. Yep. Because nice, it was like I remember up. it being like this huge thing, and my parents were like, "Oh my god, I'm looking dumb." And I remember having to like journal about my experience because that's what you did when you went on vacation as a kid. Now it's like a big deal or something if you get out of school for a week. Enjoy your life, kids. Um, <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> Skip school, go to Disney World. <laughs> uh, we here at Home Away from Disney, we don't advocate that you skip school. Only if your parents allow it. There you go. I did that for my 16th birthday. Literally. Because it was allowed from your mom. Yeah. So, I turned out fine. So I was journaling. I remember like doodling all the different like logos the or the, the icons. So I did like the Tree of Life, the castle, the um, spaceship Earth, and then like the water tower, which like used to be the big thing. Oh, at uh, then MGM. MGM, yeah. Um, so that was cool, and I I don't know. Oh, I, <laughs> I do remember my dad taking me on um, Thunder Mountain, and my mom was like, "This is not a good idea," but they sandwiched me in the middle of the two of them. Like, you know, you can fit two people in there. Well, little Meg, sitting right in the middle, <laughs> freaking the F out the whole time. Wah! I was that, like, crazy kid who hated my life. I was afraid to go on that ride for a long time after. Eventually, I grew into it. I love it now. But after that, I made my dad take me on this small world about five times in a row. So you tell me who won in that situation. Kid torture approved. Me. And... 
Come here. Yeah, I loved Disney movies. I watched Disney Channel until I was like 20. Um, oh, our camera is gonna die. Great. Yep. We're back. Sorry, camera died. We had to charge it for a little bit. Yep, yeah, yeah. So, let's get back to your regularly scheduled program. Yes. Q&A. What is our favorite dark ride at Disney? Mmm. Haunted Mansion? Yeah. Yeah. I think that would have to be it. Or the super metal Halloween layover of Space Mountain. That's just a ride in the dark. Yeah, that's not a dark ride. I know, it's not a dark ride. It's but a dark ride. That's what I'm thinking. But it'd be Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I think it used to be Pirates for me, but like, I don't know. I love Haunted Mansion. I think, it's funny because when I was a kid I was like petrified of it, but I don't know. There's just something about it, like, it's so relaxing, it's so like cooling. It's fun. The effects are really cool, yeah, like, like the history behind it's great. Everything about it's fun. I Aria love the music. Aria has a Haunted Mansion collar. Yes, yeah, she does. She would walk away, but. Yeah, and I have a Haunted Mansion button down. So cool. Yeah, I'm a cool kid. We clearly are showing you our love by the two things we own. Actually, we have a door hanger thing, too, that says... Um, Welcome, foolish mortals. Yes. Oh, and we have the uh, the record. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. the picture desk. So sorry. Now it's like 1230, so... Yeah, we're, we're pooped. I mean, I, I, you might be able to see it, but maybe not. But it's still a little purple wallpaper. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. But yeah, I just... I Like, the music's great. It's funny, like it's punny. Yeah, it is. It is um, real good. I love those paintings. The paintings are awesome. The stretching I, paintings. Those are. I cool. like the um, the the Escher stairs, the stairs that go infinite directions. Yeah. I think those are cool. The eyes on the wall. It's just like just fun everything. effects and stuff. And obviously the the intro ghost host thing is awesome the every time. The ghosts. Yeah. So yeah. Haunted, Haunted Mansion. Atrium. The big man. And actually, um, for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, the only themed hey, dessert that we got, the only themed oh, that's food right. item was the um, The bride's cake. The bride yeah. And it was delicious. Yeah, it was awesome. That was like the only thing we stood in line for the whole night for food. Next question. Um what is the first thing you do mm -hmm. in the parks? That's part one of the question and what's the first snack you go for mm. so let's say let's start with each we'll do each park like what's the first thing in each yeah. park magic kingdom um i guess it depends on what time of day we're going because yeah. it might be casey's corner but mm. it might also be Aloha Isle for Dole Whips. Yeah. It's either Dole Whips or Corn Dog Nugs. I feel like that's the only things we eat we eat in Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Unless we're like really hungry, we'll get a Mickey pretzel or one time we got hot dogs and that cool pirate oh, yeah, 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 yeah. pear whatever slush the, thing the at Tortuga. The prickly pear slush. Oh, we, we ate at um... Uh, I was gonna say Freedom Tavern. That's not it. Liberty Tree. Liberty Tree Tavern. It was awesome. That was really good. Great meal. I mean, like, so here's the deal. If you ate it outside of Disney, I'd be like, yeah, it's just like it's classic Americana, and I gotta have it in my shop. It's here. just like home cooked food, but it's not like oh my god, my grandma's home cooked food. But it's like yeah. comforting. Comfort food. That's it's delicious. Exactly. It's like chilled in there. I love their ice cubes. It's just great. It's Turkey, a good time. Stuffing can't go wrong. But that's not the first thing. So the first thing would either be CDNs or the, the whip. whip. Yeah. And first ride. Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Yeah. First, not, not even. First question. thing we do is Space Mountain. We like. I know that I've seen some discussions going around about like which way do you go? Do you go left or right or straight through? We always go right. We always go to Tomorrowland. Yeah. First. I don't know if I just point in the right direction. This is my right. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So right. Right. Um, Epcot. It again depends on the parking on which... lot to go back because it's under construction right now. <laughs> it depends on which way we come in. 
Yeah. Because last trip we came in through International Gateway like which was pretty really much cool. every time. I think once we didn't. No, 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 we that's the only way we came in. Yeah. What we would do, we were staying at Pop and this was right before the Skyliner was finished. Like literally like a month before. Yeah. I think. And we just got a lift, went over to Boardwalk, took the friendship boat over to Epcot, yeah, and got which in cool. that way. It was nice because yeah. we were able to get in quickly and go right to food and wine stuff. Which is important for us. So yeah, like, if we come in that way... Oh, my turn. Sorry. <sighs> we're probably going to Ireland. Yeah. If it's food and wine, or like the France area, is it Bratisserie, Boulanger? I don't know. The <laughs> place with the good pastries. That yeah, was tucked the back one in all France. the way in the back. Um, or if we're coming from the main entrance, we'd usually go to Mexico. When we're coming that way, we go left first. We go yeah. to Mexico. We don't start. We honestly almost never make it around to the UK and Canada. We usually Most of the time stop they're not and leave. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like usually they're not selling the best stuff. Like every once in a while, we get the uh, the cheese soup. Yeah, well, I'm saying even just oh. aside from. Food oh yeah, wine. usually we don't we don't really go there. Like I'm sure when Mary Poppins opens, we'll we'll go back there and see what that's all about. But I, not really my biggest interest in the world. Yeah, but during Food and Wine, we're there a lot because Ireland's yeah. there, and you've got the the Canada booth, and they had inside of Canada where the little festival thing. Yeah, I wonder what they'll do that next year though because that's back to a 3D theater. It's back uh, to 360 a theater. theater. It was so cool that they did that though. I yeah, loved it. Yeah, I there. also liked it. It felt like a like an autumn festival. First ride, I mean, as long as the line's not bad, we're against what people tell you you should do, and we just go right to Spaceship Earth. Love it. But I feel like we always come at times of the day where it's not that busy in the in that area of the park. Yeah. Like, usually if we hit it at, like, somewhere between 11 and noon sometimes, it's usually dead over there because everyone's made it past, and they're just getting into World Showcase because it usually just opened by then, or if it's food and wine, that's when it starts, around like 11.30, I think. Yeah. So that's when we breeze in. It's usually like a 10 minute wait at most. So yeah, I guess we really just go there to eat. Yeah, but it is a great park to just to walk around. That's where we honestly have the most fun people watching. Um. Hollywood Studios. Oh. That's a tough one. Oh, yeah. My first place to go to now would be Ronto Roasters. Oh, yeah. I would definitely That go wouldn't there even first. be a question. Yeah. We'd totally go that way. Give me that wrap. But I think for rides, Oof. I don't know. I feel like every time we've gone back recently, it's we've... been different. So we've always gone and done different things first. Like, we did Tower of Terror first once. We did Rock and Roller Coaster first once. We did Millennium Falcon first once. We did Slinky Dog first once. We did Toy Story Mania first once. Like, it's so different. Yeah. I feel like right now I'd probably go do, like, Slinky or go somewhere into Star Wars. But I I'd probably do Toy Story first. Yeah, Toy Story's a lot of fun. That whole area. Yeah, they have a lot of wide walkways. Yeah. yeah. I think that sounds right. Yeah. We'll see where we end up first in November. Yeah. But I feel like that's what we did first, even during Extra Extra Magic Hours. We didn't go right to Millennium Falcon. We were like, let's ride Slinky, let's ride Toy Story. And that's what got us screwed out of watching the sunrise in Batu. But twice. Two times. And Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. I don't know. I feel like we usually go towards Pandora because we always want... A um Night Blossom. Night Blossom. I was like a Pongu Pongu. No, that's what I, I was also it. thinking Pongu Pongu. And we like because we usually don't go first thing in the morning to Animal Kingdom, which is actually weird because usually we don't like to go midday. But Animal Kingdom is usually our like later day. Yeah. We'll go get lunch and then go like watch Festival of the Lion King and like chill. Love Festival of the Lion King. Go do like Exhibition Everest and then like we'll either leave and be done and go to Disney Springs. Or attempt a late safari. Or we come like really late at night. Yeah. The so one time we did go in go. the one time we did go in the morning, we got one of the first safaris and all the animals were out, which was cool. Yeah, and um, which is odd. Like I don't know why we wouldn't go to Expedition Everest first, but I feel like there's nothing else really over there that we would like to do. Like Cali River Rapids is kind of close-ish by. But also the bird kind thing. of hit and miss. Maybe you get wet. Maybe you don't. Maybe it stinks. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I feel like Animal Kingdom is one of the 
most annoying parks to navigate because it's like you're doing a lot of like you have to go Cross all park. the way over there all the way over there and then you have to come back in and go up and around it's just like there's no there's no quick cut throughs yeah it's not quite as small of like a hub and spoke or like a at, like, I don't know. I mean, even though Epcot's probably the biggest, but I feel like we slowly migrate our way through Epcot. Magic Kingdom, we know, are, like, two areas that we usually spend And even time so, in like, if we need to get from, like, Tomorrowland to Adventureland, like, we know we can either cut through the main hub if it's not going to be busy, or we can weave our way through Fantasyland, or New Fantasyland, and get there, to it that way. Like, there's, there's so ways many, around. like, cut-throughs, too, through, like, gift shops and, like, back little, like, restroom paths and yeah. stuff. But, yeah, Animal Kingdom just doesn't have as many of those cut-throughs. It's true. I feel like it's just a lot of, like, uh Yeah, like, there was one time we went Pandora to Everest, and that that walk was terrible. Yeah. I, well, I was, just, was, like, hot. Uh, just exhausted. Which is funny, because I think they have the most shade in that park, but it just feels like... That that park sometimes just feels like the surface of the sun. Which is odd, because you'd think Epcot would do that. Yeah. Because it's just, like, wide open, but it's I don't It's strange. Know. I feel like there's always a breeze in Epcot. There is. There's always a breeze there. So, I don't know how the weather, wind stuff works. So, to answer your question, in Animal Kingdom, it would be Night Blossom is the first thing we go for for food, and ride, or what we do when we get in, just depends on when we get in. Yeah, we usually, like, just chill for a bit. Yeah, we usually just take our time. Walk around. If we have a fast pass, we usually wait for that. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite Disney movie? It's a tough one. Ooh. So I could break this down into, like, just standard Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, if I really wanted to. Yeah, well, then the Disney Channel original. Oh, my God. Brink. Decon. That's just Brink. It's not, not even a question. It's Brink. I'm so sorry. Then motocrossed. Oh yeah, we watched that the other day. That was yeah. good. Those would be my decons. I don't know. I feel like I and love. And maybe Brink. Johnny Tsunami. I have to like say that High School Musical is definitely up there though, just because it was such like a like formative moment in my life. I really love pretty much anything Pixar. Yeah. Monsters Inc is one of my all-time favorites for sure. Yeah. And Monsters University. Love both of them. Um, all four Toy Story movies are great. I know you're iffy on the third one, but I, I love all four. Yeah. We just watched Inside Out the other night. That was amazing. That was so cute. It was really good. I loved Coco. Coco was shockingly good. Shockingly. I, I knew it was going to be good. I didn't see the twist coming. Yeah. It was a good twist. It was. Um... I love Mulan. Ah, oh, that's accurate. Mulan's Mulan, great. I can't wait to see the live action. Yeah. And... They had that McDonald's Szechuan sauce that came with the movie. <laughs> I need my Szechuan sauce, Morty! I'm always a sucker for Aladdin. I, lo I just love Robin Williams. Mm. It's a good, good comedy. Good comedy in that movie. Kinda Lion like King, I'm a sucker. through Disney Plus in my head. Yeah. If I'm going Avengers movies, for me, it's going to be Captain America Winter Soldier. Because that would be, like, just top of the line. Good spy thriller for me. Love it. So much fun. I really love Rogue One. Yeah. And I would put that more as a Disney movie than a, any of the others because... Except for the new trilogy. Yeah. Because it was actually done when it was under contract, like, with Disney. Disney had bought out Lucas Lucas by then. Yeah. So, I, I think of that as more Disney-like than Yeah, like, I wouldn't, like, in my head, Empire would not be a Disney movie. Yeah. As much as it probably is the best Star Wars movie. But it's not Disney. I would say, in my yeah. Head. If that's the case, then Rogue One is easily, easily the best of the newer Star Wars stuff that Disney has yeah. had. Even though I love Rey, I think that there's definitely some faults in the new trilogy, but yeah. it's... And I, but I liked it. Oh yeah, I, we just but go I just into it like having Rogue fun. But I One was such a nice surprise. Because no one expected it to be good and it ended up being this crazy so war movie. Good. Like, I loved those characters and ugh. The end was... This is not a movie, but Mandalorian is, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, Mandalorian is top amazing. notch. Like, 
there's nothing like one of the it. best shows I've ever seen yeah I easily agree. like it's not breaking bad good <laughs> here it is this is the way baby it's not breaking bad good but it's really good it's like in that tier but I don't it, know if it's a straight it's Disney animated movie it's a tie between the Lion King and Mulan but I also love Little Mermaid. But like, I, know you love Little I wouldn't Mermaid. put that on and watch it all the time. I just love Ariel. No, I'd put The Lion King on anytime. I frequently sing it to myself. It's funny. Like, I feel like I don't like to go back and rewatch a lot of the ones from when I was younger, except for Mulan. Because we just watched Hercules. We did, and I do like that one too. It's there's just some that I like to like keep in, in their that little box. like '90s bubble. Yeah. And just protect them and be like, you're my little 90s movie and I'm not going to watch you again because I'm just afraid that I'm going to watch it and be like, this sucks. Yeah. Or be like, I, I feel like I go back and rewatch so many movies that I watched when I was younger and be like, wow, that's so misogynistic or that's like super sexist or super and like racist. racist and... See, my least favorite thing about, like, being like, oh, here's this movie I watched when I was a kid. It's so good. It's so good. You show it to somebody else, and they're like, that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. You're like, but you don't get it. Yeah. Like. It's like you need to have the context of seeing it when you were younger. Yeah. So. Because I've definitely shown you some. I can't think of any off the top of my head that I'm like, oh, I watched this when I was a kid. It's so good. And you watch it, and you're like, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I guess. That's that. Yeah, that's that now, Mrs. That's that now. Oh, time for bed. Yeah, it's twelve fifty in these parts, so we're oh. we're outy. Thanks for watching, and if thank you, you for submitting questions this far. Yes, thank you for everyone that submitted questions on our Instagram. Yes, we really appreciate it. You know what to do: like, subscribe, comment down below if you have more questions for us, and or you have comments or want to dispute anything debate on anything that we talked about and as always hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos go up yes that too all right oh and give us those thumbs ups i said to like it already well, i'm giving you, you love to repeat what i say you know why you know i get told i'm the bad listener thumbs up this kid over here is the best listener two thumbs up. terrible listener this guy